Okay, now, if you, uh, if you're a tennis fan, even if you're not a tennis fan, you probably have seen a lot of this young man the past few weeks at 19. He's the uh, youngest player to ever win the United States Open. Also the first American to win since 1984. Would you welcome Pete Sampras? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Is it all sunk in yet? <laughs> I know people keep asking you that question, but... Um, not really. Yeah. It's been a really long week. Yeah. A lot of interviews, but uh, each day it's gotten a little bit better and better. Yeah. You seem more comfortable <laughs> no. lately. Um, youngest player ever to win it, but you said, I think, you, there was a quote before that you didn't expect originally no. No. to do that well. No, I didn't uh, expect to be the winner. Um, yeah. I expected maybe to get to the quarterfinals. Or the round of, the round of 16, but uh, you know, to win a tournament is a dream, a dream come true. All right. Now, after you beat Lendl, whom I understand invited you at one time to come to his house, you know, to hit with him mm -hmm. as practice and warm up for Lendl, mm -hmm. after you beat him, what started going through your mind then? After I beat Lendl, it was a <laughs> um, pretty emotional and physical tough match. Um, then I played Macron, and I was really nervous against John. Yeah. Um, National TV. More than Mac and, uh, more than the Lendl? Yeah. Why? I mean, because Mac's such a legend, and um, it was on national TV, and um, it was unbelievable. And he's from back there, and he's they were back there, and he's from Long Island. The crowd was really for him, and uh, to beat him uh, to get to the finals was unbelievable. I really didn't expect to be sitting here talking to you today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. You were a marvelous player. What's, what's your best strength, do you think? Um, Outside of your serve, I mean, is unbelievable, and you'll see in a moment we got a little piece of tape. But you seem to have what they call an all-court game. You seem to be comfortable to the net. You see you great passing shots. Mm -hmm. you. Well, I think my, my whole game revolves around my serve. If I'm serving well, uh, there, there's no stopping me. So uh, I don't think that day that anybody in the world, true, and I think anybody would admit it, whether it's Becker or Lennon or anybody, could have beaten you on that particular day. I think when I played Andre, it was probably the best tennis I've ever played. And it, it really couldn't come at a better time. He leaned over and whispered something to you uh, uh, when you walked off and, and, and said something. And you, yeah. we, what did he say? He said, uh, "You had a great tournament. You deserve it, and I, I wish you the best." And it was, it was very, very nice. That's nice to say. Yeah, very nice. Now let me ask a question. Remember, I had uh, Andre on the show a number of years ago after he'd had that first sensational year. You know, I think he won six tournaments. Mm -hmm. And the second year, all of a sudden, I don't know whether it's the second year jinx. You've heard of that, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, does that bother you at all? You're playing at such a high level now. To sustain that, uh, to go into a tournament, yeah. that, that's difficult, isn't it? It's going to be difficult. There's a lot of, a lot of pressure right yeah. now. Um, I want to be expected to win every match, and sure. uh, the media is going to be tough. But I think I'm, I'm able to uh, live up to what I just did. You got it in perspective. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, you talked about your serve. You, could you return your serve that day? You serve uh, 120, 124 miles an hour. And no, if it's placed no right, way. nobody's going to touch it. I mean. Um, my well, serve, I mean, it really came together those two oh, weeks. Yes, it was, it uh, <laughs> I mean, to serve 100 aces. 100 uh, aces during the whole U.S. Open. 13, I think, during the, uh, the, the final. The match, yeah. Yes. Well, watch the monitor here, and, and Pete, you will probably be here. There you are. Here's just your mild little serve you have here. Goodbye. Well, this is Lendl serving to you. Oh, he's going up, and... Ouch. Okay, now we're going to move on to uh, McEnroe. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here comes his weak serve again. <laughs> Hello. Nobody home. Okay, we'll move on to the Agassi uh, final. And I think we're coming up to match point here. Oh. That's high level stuff. <laughs> <laughs> is that what they call when athletes say they're in the zone? There comes a time 
that athletes themselves, the tennis ball looks as big as a basketball, and you know when you swing at it, it's going in, and you could almost do no wrong. It must be a rather strange feeling when everything is working together like that. Yeah, it's, it's probably the best feeling a, a tennis player can have. Um, especially against Aggies, I was in the zone. Anything I hit was on the line. Right. And it was one of those days um, where I just couldn't miss, and the whole week was just kind of... A dream. Really How much of the game is mental? You keep hearing the sportscasters say they've got to be mentally fit, they have to be matched tough. It's obvious you've got all the physical attributes, uh, you've got all the shots. How much, of, how it enters into your mind? Do you ever find your mind wandering? Do you ever say to yourself when you're out there, my God, there are 16,000 people watching. I'm going to throw the ball up to serve. It's, it's match point. Does that ever go through your mind? Or it's... can you cut all of that out? Well, that's the problem I had, he said, a year ago, was my mental concentration. Uh, you said yourself you, you tended to just Yeah, kinda... I tended to wander and, and think about uh, something else where the whole Open, I concentrated so well. And, uh, I mean, I had realized that this is really going to change my life. Uh, and it has. And in, in many ways. Now, a year ago, you were about, what, number 80, something in, yeah. like that? In, in the beginning of January, I was 80. Now, here up, obviously, in the top 10. Six. And what's, what's your ranking right six. now? Six. Number six in the world. Uh, that's... <laughs> Not bad. How important is it to you to be number one? Right now, it's it's not very important. Right, right now, uh, I'm just gonna let this let this kind of sink in, sink in, and and kind of keep on enjoying it, which I think is important, and um, just to keep on enjoying it and, and not get too right. cocky or yeah. arrogant, uh, you know, especially the. Um, you That's know, a I good idea. Yeah, you know, Just want, enjoy the moment. I want, enjoy the moment. I want to remain the same, the same kid I've always been. With a, yeah, it's, it's tough to remain the same exactly, though, uh, Pete. You won $350,000, <laughs> uh, which is about twice what you'd won in the whole year, right? right. Uh, a prize money. Uh, you were known by tennis fans. I knew you were. I've seen you play before. Sure. But the general public now knows who you are. That's tough to be the same guy. You walk down the street now and they, hey, Pete Sampras. Especially after I beat the... Uh, Lendl. Yeah. I was walking around. Your mob, somebody said, in Fifth Avenue? Yeah. I was shopping, and all of a sudden, it's from being just a regular, you know, tennis player, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm recognized to anyone. And, yeah. um, it was just a different experience. I really, really didn't like it. I'm much rather I'd be left alone, but, uh, Those days are past. Those days are gone. Yeah. <laughs> and about tennis players, is you can go to almost any country in the world now, and they'll recognize you, unlike football players sure. in other sports, because mm -hmm. you're out there with the camera close, so you go to Japan tomorrow, You'll be the, there'll be the uh, reporters at the airport or yeah. uh, in, in any country. Yeah, it was after I got off the plane in Atlanta, before playing the DuPont All-American. Right. Um, I know but, you came right there from, uh, yeah. here from there. Um, <clears throat> I was mobbed by about 75 to 100 people in the airport with CNN there and, and all these TV crews, and it was <laughs> something that I wasn't used to. Well, you'll get used to it, and you're wearing it very well. Thank you. You're a remarkable young athlete. Congratulations on the Open. We'll be watching you at the time. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment. Thank you.